For this video, I'm going to show you how to remove any unwanted objects or people from your video. What you want to do, first of all, is you want to get yourself two different panels. The first one is going to be if you go to Window and then go down to the Content Aware Fill. Now, this one will allow us to do the removal, but we also need another one. So if you go back into Window and get yourself the Tracker right at the bottom. So the tracker is going to track the position. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves the pen tool right at the top. You also want to go ahead and select yourself the video. Otherwise, you're going to create a shape rather than a mask. So to use the pen tool, it's really simple. All you have to do is left click once, left click again, and then drag it out. And this will give you a curved line. So you want to go all the way around, leaving a little gap in between just so when we do the content aware fill, it's going to have an area to work with. And then once you get to the very last one, all you have to do is left click on the very first one that you created. And then this will connect it all up and create this selection right here. We also want to go ahead and open up the video and then open up the mask itself. And in the mask, we're going to go to where it says add and then change this one to none. As you can see right now, we have this area right here. And if you go over to the tracker, you will have a simple method of either using the position, position and rotation, perspective, and so many more options. Now, this is all down to preference. So depending on your video, whether you've got someone coming close to the video or moving further away, you will need to determine which one is more appropriate for your video. Now for mine, I only need the position, so I'm just going to leave it on position. All you have to do is simply press the button that will say track selected masks forward. And this will then start to track this and it will keep the mask in that specific location. Once it's complete, it will look something like this. So we can have a look through the video and see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's done a decent job on staying in that exact same location. Now, you may run into problems like this, for example, where you can see the person in the video starts to go outside of the mask itself. So that's completely fine. It's not a big problem. We can easily fix this by getting ourselves the selection tool. You want to go to the start of it where the person starts to go outside of the frame. And while you are selecting your mask, you want to left click, drag this out, and get yourself a selection of that point. So you can then left click on this and expand this out, do the same as last time and track forwards from here. So this will then relocate all the ones at the end of this video. And there we go, the rendering and the tracking is now complete. So we can have a look through all this video and see if we're happy with the results. And as you can see, they stay in this bubble the whole time. So everything is looking great we can go ahead and go to content aware fill. Now, in order for this to actually work, we need to go back into the mask and then set it to subtract. So this is going to take it away from here. And in the content aware fill, you'll have some simple options. Starting off with the first one is the alpha expansion. So what this will do is let's say that you didn't exactly give yourself enough space in between the people and your selection, you can use the alpha expansion and this will just make it a little bit more bigger, giving the content aware fill more space to work with. Underneath the alpha expansion, you will have the fill method. For this one, you can either set it to object, surface or edge blend. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on the object and you want to stick to this one, but if you wanted to, you can explore the other ones. Next up, we have the lighting correction. So what this will do is once you've removed the people or object from your video, it will then match the lighting to make it look as natural as possible. You have the option for standard, medium, and strong. Underneath this, you will have the range. You can set it to entire duration or work area. Since we only want the work area, we're just gonna to stick to work area, and we're gonna move on to the very last two options. These two, are all down to your personal preference. So for example, if you truly want to be really accurate with this image, you can create a reference frame. And what this will do is it will open up a separate 
picture in Photoshop and you can manually remove yourself, the people or object, and then it will use this frame as a reference and it will use it to remove the rest of the frames as well. But if you don't have Photoshop or you just want to automatically let After Effects do all the work, then you would go to Generate Fill Layer and this will automatically fill in this right here. And there you go, as you can see, the Content Aware Fill is now finished. It has removed the people from this video, but it's not exactly going to be perfect. For example, you will have some areas like this bit right here where it's still very noticeable. But that's completely fine because, like I said before, if you want it to be really accurate, then you can create yourself a reference frame. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's see if we can get 100k. We are so close now. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.